So the next project here is to take this desk situation out, demo it. It's lower than your average countertop. Leave the height is um the height is around 33. And normal countertop height is 36. On the left side will be a 30 inch cabinet, and on the right side will be a 24 inch um, built in wine cooler. I'm going to take off this backsplash. My, the top of the cabinet is roughly 36, 36 and a half. My existing backsplash is at 36 and a half. So I'm hoping I can just take this off, remove this, demo all of this out, and then um, and then install the new cabinets. So hopefully I won't have to bother any of this right now. Eventually this whole backsplash will be changed out, but for now, I'm just going to see if it'll work. I'm gonna cut out this caulk. There we go. Wasn't too bad. bit of drywall repair there <laughs> like I say it's always good to cut your ends cut you know cut your ends off whatever you are uh, taking off because what happened your paint appeal now I'm pretty good at fixing walls so it's not that big of a deal to me but you know that step you definitely want to want to do this should just come off with a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease A lot of it, a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> and all of this stuff is garbage. I'm not using any of this. And so I'm just gonna just demo this out and then, um, and then I'll sh come back. Okay, I got everything demoed. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to remove some of this baseboard. Uh, one of the things that I realized is that they, they built the cabinets um, where they put the cabinets in and then they built the floor. So, but that shouldn't be much of a problem because we're going over the top of this anyway. All right, so again, it's gonna be a 30 inch cabinet, 24 inch wine cooler. I do have those. I'm gonna put them in place here just to see how it looks. And I'm thinking it's gonna look Pretty freaking amazing. Got in that hole. Oh yeah. Oh 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 I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do a side panel. Side panel will be so this will all look like one cabinet and this is built into the cabinet of course we can just do the countertop and just have this as the side but hey won't be as cool because that's what we do we make things cool over here um so i need to figure out what my panel size is going to be now I'm, I'm, i am going to do because when you rip plywood you can see the plies so i am going to dado out a one by and insert the three quarter inch into the one by by maybe a quarter inch so 
The thickness of the one by is three quarter. I'm going to go in a quarter, so I need to make my panel 23 and a half. 23 and a half, and then the height will be 34 and 9 sixteenths. So my plywood will be 34 and 9 sixteenths high, 23 and a half, um, 23 and a half deep. And then my one by that I'm going to cut is going to be the same height, 34 and 9 sixteenths. And I'm going to do also a quarter inch reveal here. So you can look here and this one by a stick out a quarter inch and then the wood and then the rest of the one by will be inside. And that gives the situation where the cooler has a, a, a quarter inch gap there, but it's really more space in the back so it can breathe and also so the door can open. I want to rip this plywood, three quarter inch plywood. I have this because I want to make sure that we have some support. And this is just going to hold it in the middle when we cut it. The 34 9 sixteenths. I'm going to put my holder on this side. But I also have my handy dandy assistant, Miss Sharon. She's so fabulous. And she is fabulous, y'all. She is fabulous. I want to make sure that I screw into studs, so I'm going to find the studs here. Stud here and here. This is stud here and here. I don't really have that much to do. And we just screw here, screw here. Put the wine cooler in. I'm really just now just trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to install this end piece. I made the measurements to cut just like I said I would. This will go on the end here. But then I also gouged out that three quarter inch, a quarter deep just like we talked about. So that can go in there like so. Quarter inch, just like I talked about on the side. So it looks like that I am going to be right in the corner, which is good. And then I need to measure from what I have here to here, 24 and 3 eighths. So I'll make this panel. It doesn't matter about the, the width, just as long as I can get to that, to that with 24 and 3 eighths. So I'll make it about 21, 20, somewhere around that end. And that'll be my top. And I'll screw that top in here, here, and, uh, and go from there. This is a half inch piece of plywood. And I thought the measurement from the top of this wine cooler to this was a half inch, but it's a little higher than what I would like, and so I need to go down to 3 8 The countertop, the granite, the hard top, will be resting on this. This is carrying the weight. This is just kind of serving as a shim, and then also a tie-in from this side to this side, so this won't move. <clears throat> so this doesn't work, and I don't have any 3 8 plywood, but I do have some, uh, well, this is 3 8 plywood, but I got it. I stole it off the old uh, countertop. But this will work. So you see that flush and flush. And that gives us enough room for this steel to get in and out. Um, now I'm going to pocket screw these into here. And then I'm going to take this one and put it in the back here. And I need to scoot that over. But that'll um, go because this will be all the same. 
Yeah. So this will go over, and then I'll screw this into this, this into that, this into this, and this into that, and that should lock this all in. Now, pocket screws are really designed for half inch and thicker plywood, but I'm gonna try to make it work with this um, with this 3 8 inch plywood. You'll sort of get this, this deal here. So I'm gonna take this, set it on here. It has different settings on it. I have it on a half inch setting, three quarter, inch and a half. That's the thickness of your wood. This is only 3 8 so the only thing I can really use is this half inch setting. I'm gonna set it on there. Clamp it down. This is the bit that goes with the um, pocket screw set. And what that does is that allows you to have these angled. So when you screw in, your screw goes in and it makes it a nice, uh, secure um, fit. Well, I've already attached. I did have to put a couple of screws in there, which I'll putty that up. That's fine. Um, this is the board, my backer board, and I am going to screw that here. Now, I use a, I use a, um, a, a I don't know what you call this bit, but anyway, it has a drill bit and it gorges out the, the nail head, countersink bit, that's what it's called. So. I'm just going to take that, get it right in the corner, there, and then one below. It just makes it easier so when you get ready to screw that in, um, you don't have issues. Now, I did glue this side. I glued that side. I'm not going to glue that side. It's not necessary. Because this is the panel that I don't want to move. Since it's just standing there, this is a whole cabinet, so it doesn't matter on that one. A couple of drywall screws in here. Goes to the top. Okay, now I've already marked my studs, stud here, stud here, and I don't have to secure that piece of board, but I am, because hey, that's what we do. That's all I need, and if I wanted to, I guess I, why not, hey, why not, this board does, it's going to, the back is going to hold the countertop, so... Why not secure it? Now that's nice and secure. Now again, the problem is, is that this will wobble. Just by us doing that is pretty sturdy, but it'll wobble. And we're going to take these pieces here and go from edge to edge. That'll keep it, that'll keep it from wobbling. I also have to glue this and uh, tack it in there. Now that we know how can secure this countertop too, I mean, secure this cabinet since I know where this is going now. Secure that. Secure this one. And that's installed. We got enough room here for our refrigerator. I got the tops installed. Got the um, back brace now. This side panel, I am going to level it off. That needs to be level. And then use this three quarter inch board. I already pre-drilled some screws in it. And I want to screw that to the floor. And then I'm going to screw the board to that wood. The back goes all the way up against that wall. Gotta love screwing into that good old oak. In the front. 
Probably best to mark it with a pencil. Okay, that's plumb there. Double check. Yep. inch and a quarters. That is not going anywhere. Gorilla glue. opposite day. It goes that way. And I'm going to be using inch and a half brats. Everything is secure. You know, I'll putty this, putty these holes, you know, get everything sanded real good, caulk around there, and then um, and it'll get painted white. All the cabinets getting painted white. Put on a new door hardware. Uh, countertops come in, and, um, and that's it. So I'm going to push this back in. And I want the same reveal on both sides. Yeah. Okay, now I'm at the point where everything is caulked up, towel is installed. I just use casing on the side here I went four inches up and I put the casing right over that side there about a quarter inch in caulk it all up and getting ready to get this painted it's going to be painted white hey if you want to check out how the process of painting kitchen cabinets then make sure you check out that video I'll leave a link in the description below also working on this island extended that island 20 inches and that detail matches that island if you want to check out the video on that on how that was accomplished that's also linked in the description so as you can see it's been painted hardware countertop installed the only thing left to do to give it that final finish look is to install tow kit right here and shoe molding right there. I'm just using brad nails. And that is the final product, which has way more functionality than the desk that was there previously. The cabinet adds plenty of storage and the wine cooler looks amazing. I really like the way it turned out. Hey, if you like this video, then make sure that you hit the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe.
leave a comment in the comment section and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for videos that I upload in the future. Thanks for watching. Till the next time. Hey.